Welcome back to another episode of Baking with Lexi. Today I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to make a rainbow jelly bowl. So today I'm just going to go simple. I'm going to go the simple route and I'm going to use a white cake mix, Duncan Hines Classic White. In my measuring cup here, I have two cups of water. I have six eggs, two thirds cup of oil, dump that all in. Cake mix goes right on in the bowl. Now we whisk it together. It's easy as that. Take whatever color pastel colors you'd like. I'm gonna go with a pink, a yellow, a violet, and a teal. I've got four bowls that I'm going to split my batter between so that I can make my four different colors. So you try to do it as even as possible so that you get the same amount of each color so you don't have some one, one color way more than the other, one color way too little, unless you like one color more than another. Then that's okay. One part is mixing up the colors. So if you have kids, grandkids, nieces, nephews, grandmas, grandpas, anybody, let them get involved in mixing up the colors. So I'm gonna take a couple piping bags, four of them to be exact. And now if you don't have piping bags, that's okay. Just use a Ziploc bag. Put your mix in, cut off the corner of the bag, and we'll pipe it in. The trick that I learned when I worked in the bakery, if you're not very good at filling a bag, is Pull it down over your hand like this, and then stick it on a cup. And then once you fill it, it goes into the cup, and that's where you can sit it on the counter, and it won't fall. You won't lose your batter. It's I'm gonna go with my pink first. I'm just gonna dump it right on in my bag. Don't go too fast, you have an explosion. Explosion of color. Next, I'm just gonna take my next color, Wash, rinse, repeat. Well, I don't know why I say that. I'm not really washing or rinsing anything. I'm just gonna repeat. Remember, parchment, Crisco. You don't want it to stick. So this is all ready to get into the oven. We're gonna bake it at 350 for about 12 to 15 minutes. While the cake is in the oven, what we need to do is get a towel, like so. I have this nice Paris towel, shout out to Shelly. But what we're gonna do is take some powdered sugar and we're going to sprinkle it over the whole towel. So this is going to be what we're gonna use to roll up the jelly bowl. Here goes the true test. So here we go fell right out. Perfect. So you're going to take the end of your towel and roll it all the way up with the cake. Now that my cake roll is rolled up, I'm going to take my, what do you call this thing? Cooling rack. Put the cake on it and it's going to sit for 30 minutes just like this cool down then we'll unroll it and fill it with buttercream let's hope that this worked it's okay if there's a few cracks as you go it's what the frosting is for the buttercream that i made i'm just gonna put it on in the cake spread it out and roll it back up when you do this you have to be gentle with it so you don't rip the cake as you go Once the frosting on, we roll it back up. But don't roll the towel in it this time. Just roll it by itself. Now, it's okay if you have some cracks because mine cracked a little bit. But that's what frosting is for. It's very forgiving, so don't fret. I've got my classic buttercream that I made. I'm just gonna put it on in the cake. Spread it out. But look at this little frosting sprinkles goes a long way. So because I have four nephews and a niece, I put sprinkles on top. I know they'll get a kick out of it. 
What do you think? Wish you could come and enjoy it with me. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Baking with Lexi.